Good morning, everybody. This is PD with another righteous run. Proverbs 18.10 says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is safe. This morning, I once again want to encourage your heart, enlighten your mind, empower your faith, and embolden you to live the life that God has called you to live and to also give you the enthusiasm to get up and do something physical so that you can continue to invest in your health. Today, I wanna to talk to you all about it all comes down to love. You know, a disciple runs up to Jesus one day out of the crowd and said, Lord, uh, what is the greatest commandment? And he told him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your might. That's the greatest commandment. Then he says, love your neighbor as yourself. So Jesus threw out there that we should have a vertical relationship with God that's based on love, that's from us to God, but then also it hinges on our horizontal relationship with one another. You cannot say you love God and you hate other people. You cannot say that you're in a close love relationship with God, but yet you don't know how to love people. You know, Jesus said that by this, meaning love, all men will know that you are my disciples. I wonder when the non-believing world looks at Christianity, do they see God through our actions? God spelled it out through the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 13, what love looks like in action. You all know the verse, they usually read it at weddings. And then after that, I wonder how much of that love is actually shared in marriage after the wedding. So let me just read them for you real quickly. Love is patient. Love is kind and is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant, does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own, is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffered. Wow. Does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. And you know how it ends now. Faith, hope, love, abide all these three, but the greatest of these is love. So I'm going to encourage you all to have a lovely day today because it all comes down to love. When you meet people today, show them love no matter how much they treat you. You see your family today, show them love. Doesn't matter how they treat you. Why? Because God has filled his love in our hearts through the Holy Spirit so that other people can see it all comes down to love. Hey, you guys have a great day. I love you.